Let's talk next play mentality. Midway through the fourth quarter, two point game, and Malik Heath is working against zone coverage. He takes his route about 18 yards upfield, breaks down, and comes back to the football. The route is there. Meanwhile, at the line of scrimmage, the protection is there. As for the throw, Jordan Love fires a BB, and it's there too. Everything is there but the catch. How would Malik respond? How would Jordan respond? How would the Packers respond? Three plays later, Jordan can hand off to A.J. Dillon. That's because everybody inside this triangle is blocking run. I'm talking wide receiver, tight end, the entire offensive line. But Jordan takes his other option, the pass. He has not lost faith in Malik Heath, and his faith is rewarded. Malik makes a catch this time, and the fun is just beginning. Look at that move. Absolutely wicked. Jalen Watson can't even leg whip him down, and Malik takes a six-yard catch and turns it into a 15-yard gain, and it's first and 10 Green Bay inside the red zone. Next play mentality. I think it's such a great lesson. Just because something happened, be it good or bad, doesn't mean it's gonna impact the next play. And that's what I'm talking about always when you talk about that next play mentality. So it was really cool to see somebody respond from some negative adversity and make a critical play in that game. That was a pretty cool moment.